Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a huge surprise. This, I think, is to be expected, quite frankly. Um, th I mean, this is a rumour. But the rumour is that Robert Pattinson's Dark Knight will be getting phased out of what they're calling the DC film universe after Matt Reeves completes his planned trilogy. Not a surprise. I mean, I don't think they were ever looking to sort of integrate this moving forwards. Um, it looks like it's own separate. I think Matt Reeves used the term like Batverse or something like that. Um, and th this makes sense. Like... I don't think this is a stretch. I also don't think this is negative or bad or reflects terribly on Matt Reeves in any way, shape, or form. Um, I just think this is to genuinely to be expected. Not a not a huge shock, but people will obviously, you know, uh, move forward as if it is a shock. But I think this is perfectly reasonable. So let's dive into this. I hope you're all well today and you're enjoying your weekend. A recent article hints that there is not much of a future for Robert Pattinson as the Batman or the world director Matt Reeves is trying to build around him but I, I again I, I think this has been a bit misconstrued right I don't think Robert Pattinson wants to be Batman forever I mean pun intended um but at the end of the day like three films that's quite a long time that is you know 10 plus years of Robert Pattinson's life as well as Matt Reeves life uh, and they're already establishing quite a, a large amount of sort of extended media for this universe that you know can be enjoyed series hbo max etc i don't think there was ever a plan for a massive future uh, i i never assumed that that was going to be the case it's like it's like thinking the joker was always you know the joker was going to just live on and continue on that world i mean it just doesn't make sense you know you one doesn't expect that to continue same as the batman universe so the article is by That Hashtag Show uh, and states what we can expect DC to be like under the David Zaslav regime at Warner Brothers Discovery or Warner Discovery, noting both the projects that have been cancelled and the ones that will soon be canned. So obviously Batgirl was cancelled, Wonder Twins uh, as well, and we recently learned that HBO Max's Strange Adventures can be added to that list, but uh, it doesn't end there, which again makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, a few Dark Knights are on the queue as well. So, uh, the hashtag show states, there are some plans to make some substantial changes at DC Films, including the Kevin Feige uh, sort of quality point man, basically the Kevin Feige type, which hopefully they don't get Greg Berlanti because he's a fucking waste of time. Um, uh, and obviously cancelling and shelving projects in development, which again, makes sense. Stop spending money on absolute garbage, get some clear direction, move forwards and go from there. Like that, that perfect business plan. So some things the old guard at Warner Media believed in will consequently be slowly phased out at a certain point, and the Batman came up in this regard. So this is what they say. So it said that Reeves is expected to finish his Batman trilogy, and after that, it's expected that this iteration of Batman will be phased out. I th that's not... I don't... Sure, whatever. I don't think that that is... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's a surprise. Now... People are framing it as a surprise because they're like, oh, it's troubling for Reeves and Pattinson because, you know, the former, Reeves, made it perfectly clear he wants to layer his universe with streaming shows, exploring the underbelly of Arkham, uh, Penguin's rise to power, and how the police got so corrupt. Well, I mean, right, Arkham is linked to Gotham PD. That is a series that's happening. Uh, and Penguin's rise to power is its own series, which begins filming next year. All of the, again, you're going to make another two Batman films. It's... All in all, you're looking at about 10 plus years of Robert Pattinson being in that role. That's plenty of time to have these streaming shows. That's plenty of time to have these streaming shows. One's already filming next year. The Arkham Asylum series is underway as well, like in terms of the writing phases and stuff. This is not a surprise to me. The Batman's Penguin spin-off is set to film next year. Again, like I said, uh, and Arkham is still in development, but things aren't looking good for their status. Uh, I sort of disagree. I mean, Colin, um, Colin Farrell has been pretty vocal uh, about the Penguin show. Now, they say here the same, uh, same can be said for Blue Beetle, which, much like Batgirl, was made for HBO Max and is done filming. Who knows what's going to happen with that? The set leaked photos actually look really good in terms of the Blue Beetle's costume. Genuinely surprising. Now, Joker 2, Folly Adieu, uh, is the only exception that Hashtag Show heard about from their source. No doubt due to the Joker being a profitable billion-dollar grocer, which the killer clown um, gets the last laugh. Poetically, another Batman seems to be fallen by the wayside. Now, I mean, I sort of covered, you know, the next Batman is, is 
but not happening for a while. And I, you know, I am saddened by that, and I do think they're dropping the ball on it. I do think that they need to push it out and get the ball rolling on it massively. In fact, I think you know you you do have to strike while the iron is hot on, you know, on on all of these things. But you know, if they're going to take their time and it comes out and it's good, whatever, sure, fine. I don't I don't mind that. Now they say you know Michael Keaton joins patterns and getting phased out between Batgirl's cancellation and partial confirmation. Ben Affleck is participating in. Uh, reworking of the Flash and Aquaman 2 scenes. Keaton's hyped comeback looks bleak. I agree with that. But I don't see Robert Pattinson being phased out. I see that as a natural progression of what they were looking to do with those movies. I don't see that as a phase out. At all. I really don't. Uh, I see that as just genuinely to be expected. Um, Again, Batman was released in 2021. That took like I don't know, almost two years to film, I'm guessing. I think if I remember right, it was about two years to film. It was in development for a long time, but we know why it was in development for a long time. Warner hadn't fully greenlit it, and then when they did, you know, there was, well, outside of all of that, there was the issues with, well, is it Ben Affleck going to be on board? No, he's not. Right, let's rework it. Let's rework it. We did rework it, and then Rob Pattinson, so on and so forth. Then Pandemic, so on and so forth. So I think that was shooting for about two years overall. Um, I think they shut down for like, a couple months, um, also due to patents and getting COVID as well as the lockdowns. Um, so, you know, 2021 it's released. Even if this goes to 2031, I mean, that's so long to be releasing movies, um, you know, in this universe and TV shows. I don't see this as a phase out. I don't see this as a problem. I never thought Robert Pattinson would be taking over as the Batman. Uh, I thought this was always going to be its own thing. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you as confident as I am? Let me know down below. Love to hear it. Cheers, guys. Take care. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me by my graphic designer. We, of course, have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, T-shirts. We've got Space Jeebus. Uh, and then for something a little bit different, we of course have right down at the bottom, right here, we have our Pulsar GTIR. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.